So we're here to help uh, show some ways to stay in compliance, to reduce that non-compliance, uh, make things a little safer, smarter, and more productive, as our theme is going to be for the day. So I want to jump into our new product, the Check Vault. Yeah. Um, so quickly, uh, our permanent electrical safety devices for folks that don't know, um, you know, just kind of setting the stage, right? So mm -hmm. uh, permanent electrical safety devices have seen up to a 75% decrease in lockout takeout time spent locking and taking out your equipment uh, as it relates to the actual procedure itself, as it ties to your electrical safety program. So our PESDs, like Nick mentioned, they improve, um, you know, your compliance to NFPA 70E, OSHA requirements, and, and different standards on the market today. Um, and with regards to actually performing an absence of voltage test, we have some solutions that provide a alternative to opening up your enclosure door and kind of exposing yourself to that incident energy. So a lot of you might be faced with um, needing to lock and take out your particular piece of equipment. That entails suiting up in high cal PPE, opening up the enclosure door, and testing to ensure whether or not voltage is present. And so there's a lot of inherent risk in, involved with that. Um, so with our permanent electrical safety devices, we're looking at reducing injuries, electrical workplace injuries, fatalities, downtime, costly downtime expenses, and OSHA violations are citations. So ultimately that's where our PESDs come into play. Um, they're permanently mounted on the outside of your electrical enclosure. They're tapped in parallel to your source voltage, and they provide an alternative, a safer alternative to using a, a adequately rated portable test instrument for testing and verifying both presence and absence of voltage. Yeah, that's the key question, right? It's, is there voltage? Correct. Before we get in here, is there voltage? So, so these products are going to be, we are going to start with the check bubble. We'll go over a few different versions of what we have available. But these are going to answer that question. Is there voltage and is this safe to continue working on? So the newest product that we wanted to talk to you all about today is our check volt. The check volt solution combines, it may look familiar, but it actually combines our dual redundant LEDs from our voltage indicator. And it combines it with our contact tester safe test point device. The great thing about this solution is it, it's all in one easy to use product. It meets the standard within NFPA 70E no exceptions. So the check bolt mitigates arc flash and shock hazard, and it enhances your compliance to NFPA 70E. And the great thing about this solution is it uses a simple 30 millimeter hole punch knockout. So Greenly makes a standard hole punch that you can purchase. I believe it's on the market ready to go. Uh, make a simple 30 mil push button knockout on the outside of your enclosure, and then wire this component into your actual piece of equipment in and of itself. So the, the check volt product, if you want to hold that for me. Oh, we're good. So the check volt product um, saves time. It reduces on average. Uh, you'll see about a 35 to 40 minute reduction in time spent locking and tagging out your equipment. On top of that, the device is UL listed up to a thousand volts AC and DC. Mm -hmm. So it usually fits those low voltage applications, uh, 480 volt three phase. We've also seen some single phase applications as well. So it, you know, it's really not specific to single R3 phase. Mm -hmm. On top of that, uh, the device usually pays for itself in about two to three lockout takeout procedures. So in terms of cost, it's a very cost effective solution. Yeah, oh, compared to, yeah, putting a whole high cal suit on, yeah. Oh yeah, locking out, yep, suiting up in the, the high cal PPE requirements and then you know opening up the enclosure door, exposing yourself to that incident energy and that risk, really it's a no-brainer from a, a, a kind of an alternative solution. Yeah, especially on some environments, you don't want that door open. You don't want your environment in your facility getting inside that cabinet. You, I'd like to keep that a little cleaner. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And so some of the other added benefits of the, the check vault device in and of itself. So uh, this is a direct reflection of OSHA's um, Office of Regulatory Analysis. So every dollar invested, you can expect um, every dollar invested in safety and health programs, you can invest, uh, sorry, expect a return of four to six dollars. Uh, and that's pulled directly from OSHA, uh, the regulatory analysis. So really making that initial investment, whether it's a capital expense or just a simple low kind of budget, budgetary expense from an operating expense, obviously, you know, looking for an alternative, this is a great solution to fit that, that safety requirement. 
Absolutely. I know we talk a lot on the productivity you can get in the single lockout tag out and um, using these products. And it does make your day, your mental health a lot easier, your day a lot more comfortable as you're using these products as opposed to some of the other ways we've seen people measure um, voltage or test for absence of voltage. But ideally, it's you do want to um, keep in mind that these are preventing accidents that are a lot bigger of an issue if our if safety isn't realized inside your facility because you're not just experiencing longer downtime you're experiencing potential injuries potential lost time uh potential death if it's the worst case scenario and um those are all things that these products uh we're aware that's what we're um getting these out in the market for we want your operations to be safer we get that people get behind they get rushed especially when Money's going out the window when the machine's down. There's yeah. eight people hollering oh, yeah. to get it back up. You're moving fast. We need redundancy. We need safety. So that's a big focus on these products. So that's why they exist. There's nothing groundbreakingly crazy about them, but they're common sense. They make safe and they make you safer and smarter throughout your day. Absolutely. So um, that kind of ties in as well to specific applications. Um, so I have a lot of conversations with with you all um, on a regular basis, right? So I've seen these devices installed on local disconnects, on like the line or load side, electrical control cabinets, variable frequency drives. Nick, I know that you have an, a specific application that you've worked on with friction welders. Yeah, we had one customer that um, as they were working on a friction welder, they'd um, flip the disconnect and occasionally they'd still get shocked when they were going inside performing maintenance on that equipment. And what they realized when they installed our electrical safety devices was that they had uh, residual um, voltage in there. They had electricity that was not um, leaving the system for eight to 10 seconds. So they were standing around what felt like a long time as you're working and someone's waiting for you to tell them that the machine's clear, good to go. They open up that door and eight to 10 seconds later, there's still risk of um, shock in there. Yeah. So that's our, when you do that, you see our lights that are blinking. We can cut back to this camera you'll see those lights blink. And if they take another six, seven seconds, it's because you have equipment in there that's not dissipating energy. And that's that's very good to know. You you can learn about your equipment by being able to visually see whether or not voltage is present. Absolutely, and so that kind of ties into the actual product itself, right? So on that variable frequency drive very well, there could be residual stored electrical energy. So with this device, with the dual redundant LEDs that are built into the component itself, they allow for you to visualize that stored release electrical energy and ensure that there is no voltage present. And then on top of that, you can also use an adequately rated portable test instrument and physically test each phase conductor, phase to phase and phase to ground for absence of voltage testing. Now, again, there's a little bit more involved with the live dead live test. We actually take it a step further where we suggest testing your meter to a known voltage source, testing it live at the actual device itself, isolating the power, flipping the disconnect switch, testing it dead at the actual device itself, and then testing again your meter to a known voltage source. So that is what we call a live, live, dead live test. Um, again, associating that back to NFPA 70E and enhancing that compliance um, you know, overall, we're very excited about this solution. The fit form of it, you know, reduces space consumption quite drastically from some of our other solutions that we offer on the market today. Uh, on top of that, not only is this device UL listed up to a thousand volts, but it carries UL type 12, 4, 4X, 13. It also carries IP66 ratings and IP69 ratings. I do believe that this is the first permanent electrical safety device that is IP69 rated. Absolutely. And that is, it expands the customer base that's able to use this product. So Absolutely. Absolutely. And on top of that, it's also rated CAT3 up to 1,000 volts and then CAT4 up to 600 volts. So depending upon where you guys decide to install this product off of that in incoming utility power feed, we give you that ability because of that further CAT rating that we carry with this solution. And you guys, uh, at the end of this uh, webinar, we will have a link available. If you want to request a demo of these products, you're able to. Um, the the check bolt, we have a version where we'll have a plug attached to the end of it. So if you want a version of the 
check bolt where you can plug it into the wall and likely what this one is doing and display it. Um, that is what you'll, oh, is that, that's why the ground's going. Um, but you'll be able to get that, display it to people and show uh, how it works the same way we're doing. Uh, so that if you need to get more buy-in or take it and get some approval from some other engineers or electricians that you work with. Uh, otherwise, if you do have ability to get it installed and you want to evaluate it on your equipment and see the impact it makes, we can send it to you without the plug on it, just the standard way you'd purchase it. Uh, so you don't have to go through the hassle of removing that plug in so that they don't have to put a plug on it back in the back. <laughs> yep, <laughs> Save absolutely. everyone a little time. <clears throat> yeah, um, so that's our new check vault. We actually launched that at Automation Fair earlier this year, back in November. Uh, that was actually in um, Chicago. Um, something that I neglected to mention kind of in the uh, introduction of Grace. Uh, we are a Rockwell technology partner. Uh, we have been for over 20 years now. Yeah, 23. Um, yeah, 20, 23 years. Um, so, uh, you know, obviously work with us, uh, work with Nick, myself. We would love to work with you all on gathering up a demo um, on any of the products that we talk about here uh, today.